are. Loch Ness in the background. And I give you the path. This could be the very planned path that the Frasers used to find the yew tree. Let's go. Good afternoon folks, we are here on the shores of Loch Ness in the Highlands on what's known as the Hill of Hindrance and it's uh, certainly justified by that name because it's an absolute nightmare to climb but the reason we're here today is to have a look at this beautiful view behind us and the story that comes with it so we're going to take you up and you can have a look for yourself as we try and trans just past these uh, obstacles here like I say they don't call it the hill of hindrance for nothing now if the camera decides to do a free fall you know that as we have Slip to our untimely doom into the waters of Loch Ness. Hopefully that will not happen. We can find our way back. Right, so we are now in the inside the, the U. It's described as a cathedral and it's very justified in being named such because this is all one tree and uh, as, we, as we climb up and we catch our breath we'll give you a wee bit of information about the backstory here we go I see the whole hindrance justified name so Here we are, inside the Great Fraser U. Now according to the stories, the clan Fraser, clan Fraser of Straferic would gather here under the Fraser U and according to the stories, they gathered here on the eve of battle in 1746 taking a sprig of yew from these branches and putting it in their bonnet before marching off to fight at Culloden. So we have a really significant green historical site here in the heart of the Highlands. So if you're ever here hunting Nessie and you want to get a wee bit adventurous and climb up the Hill of Hindrance then uh, why not pay a wee visit to the yew and you will be rewarded, so if you come along, yes, after enduring the steep slopes, the crumbling paths, and of course, in the very end, the paths that absolutely disappear into obscurity, you will be rewarded. You'll be rewarded with several bottles to choose of, to have a wee dram. Some are hidden. So, uh, there's another one under there. You've got to, you've got to really have a wee look. And a guest book. And a wee guest book. To see when whiskey. you're here. And more whiskey. Now, we haven't got whiskey with us, but it's not good to come empty handed. So, what we're going to do is we're going to leave a little stone as a little bit of a thank you for the gift of whiskey and believe me after the trek up this hill that whiskey is well earned 
So we're going to we're going to place this here at the U, and hopefully it'll stay here as a gift to this mighty tree that stood here for at least a thousand years, and hopefully it'll stand here for thousands more. So if you're ever up here, have a wee visit. <laughs>